Welcome campers, welcome to the day four experiment. I'm Sam teacher. I'm Derek teacher. Now, have any of you guys out there seen or touched a snake? I've never seen a snake in my life. Never? Never. What's wrong with you? Where have you been living? Koreatown. Wow. <laughs> okay, but when it comes to the Bible, the snake or serpent has been associated with a devil in most cases. And a famous moment in the book of Genesis is where a snake tempts Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. Now, this caused a loss of relationship with God. Now, I'm a sinner, Sam's a sinner, and we're all sinners. However, one of the most important things to remember is that God sent Jesus Christ, his beloved son, to come down to earth to help us. Yes. And through that, the one thing that he asks is that we admit to our sins and that we believe in God and Jesus and what they represent. Amen. And so today, what we're going to go ahead and look at is we're going to go ahead and partake in this experiment where we are going to see how sea snakes move underwater. Now, I've never been to Japan nor Australia. Have you? No. No? Okay. Well, the closest place that I've been to Japan is a sushi bar. Now, in between, if you look on a map, you're not gonna see a whole lot of land. And because of that, snakes have to move underwater somehow. As I said before, I've never seen a snake underwater and I'm pretty terrified about that because I'm scared of water, I'm scared of snakes, and I can never imagine them coming together. And did you know that snakes can swim underwater and hold their breath for up to two hours? How long can you hold your breath underwater? Probably like a minute at the most. And for me, probably only a minute at most. Anything over five, I would probably be bored anyways. You'd be dead. Or worse, even dead with Jesus Christ. <laughs> However, we're going to go ahead and do this experiment. And Sam is going to teach us how we can go ahead and watch how snakes move underwater. Are you excited? I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. All right, campers, this is the pre-prep. So the only thing you guys need is, let's begin. What are these? These are the sinful snakes. Baking powder, an empty cup, vinegar. Oh, it's vinegar. And you're gonna need water. So basically, you're also gonna need a pair of scissors too and chopsticks. Now what you're basically gonna do to begin is to start cutting these snakes in half. You could make even smaller pieces as well if you'd like. And maybe you might want to cut some extra in case if you have siblings who want to eat some while you're doing this. Don't eat them, man. Okay. Now, after you're done cutting them, what you do is you're gonna take the baking soda and water, and you're gonna mix three tablespoons, which I have done here. And then you're gonna place the gummy worms that you cut up into the cup and maybe mix them up and then hold them for about 20 to 30 minutes, I think, which I've already done. All right, guys, so after 20 to 30 minutes have passed and the gummy worms are just there sitting in the mixture of vinegar and water, sorry, baking soda and water. Next, you want to go ahead and grab your chopsticks and we're going to go ahead and drop them in one by one into the baking soda, into, vinegar. sorry, the vinegar. And then we're going to go ahead and see what happens. Now, how do you guys think, what do you guys think will happen? What do you think will happen? I think they're just gonna fizz up and probably dissolve. All right, well, for me, hopefully they don't become real snakes because as I said before, I'm terrified. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop this green gummy worm in and let's see. <laughs> All right, as we can see, the first experiment did not work well. However, thankfully, we have many other gummy worms to work with. Derek teacher, try using vinegar instead of water. It might work. Try it again. Omo, I'm sorry. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and try this again, this time with vinegar. 
If you don't know what's the difference between water and vinegar, you should try to smell it because vinegar will smell like something that you don't like. Yeah. Or taste it if you want. It's okay. Woo! All right. So let's go ahead and let's try this again. I'm going to take a gummy worm and we're going to drop it into the vinegar. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh it's going up. See, it's going up. It is starting to fizzle. Put them all in. Put them all in? All right. Now, it might be a little bit hard to see, but what is actually happening, if you take a closer look towards the bottom, is that there are a lot of bubbles that are coming out due to the mixture between vinegar, baking soda, and water. And so how these snakes actually move is that there's a chemical reaction that happens called carbonic acid. And what happens is that when these mixtures come together, there is a gas that is released that helps them move. Now, if many of you guys have ever drank soda, which maybe some of you have not because you're a little too young, you can taste all the bubbles in your throat and it makes you feel a little bit weird. But that is essentially what is happening right here. Those bubbles will cause the snakes to move up and down and front and backwards in the water. Isn't that amazing? It's amazing. Yeah. It amazes me, I'll tell you that. Remember campers, God is always Emmanuel. And watch out for snakes. They're out there. You don't know where they are, but they're out there. Now, I think that we also forgot the most important ingredient of this experiment, which I forgot to mention. Hold on, where is it? Oh, love. Love. And I hope all of you guys have a great time here at Vacation Bible School. All right. See you soon. Bye. Bye.